So in the part one of this lecture, we covered the experimental findings of the Andrews isotherm for carbon dioxide and we studied how the critical phenomena can be established for various gaseous system. In this lecture, we will cover the relation between various critical constants and Van der Waals equation of state. Also, we will derive the relation between Van der Waals constant and the critical constants. Hello, myself Dr. Upasna Isar and we will be covering the critical state of matter or critical phenomena in this lecture and we will study Andrews isotherm for carbon dioxide. We will also derive the relation between critical constants and Van der Waals constants for a particular gas. To know more about this topic, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing, the link of which is given in the description box. As we know, the Van der Waals equation of state is P plus A n square by V square into V minus n B equal to n R T. If I write the Van der Waals equation of state for one mole of a gas, for one mole of a gas, I have n equal to 1 and this is my equation of state. So, so mainly what we are doing is we are establishing a relationship between TC, PC and VC from the Van der Waals equation of state. So there are two methods basically. One method is just the algebraic method by solving the uh, equation of Van der Waals and deriving the expression. And second uh, form is the finding the minima of the Andrews isotherm from the Andrews isotherm curve and putting it in the equation. So we will cover both types. First is writing down for one mole of Van der Waals gas and then multiplying the two brackets we get P into V minus PB plus A by V minus AB by V square minus RT. So RT I have taken here and multiplying these two brackets we get this expression. After that take the LCM and you get this expression where it will be V square multiplied. It becomes PV cube taking V square term common we get RT plus PB plus AV minus AB. Now I want this term only in V factor that is cubic expression in terms of volume. Although it is in terms of volume, but still we will derive the entire expression by P so that I get only V cube here and this as my coefficient of V square, this as my coefficient of V and this is a constant. After deriving this, we can say that what is happening at critical point, at critical point your pressure is becoming critical pressure and temperature is becoming critical temperature. So what we will do is keeping V as it is, we will substitute T as TC and P as PC so that we get another expression which is holding only at the critical point. Now what is happening at critical point? Your V is also becoming VC. So I have this is one equation which we have to write. Then what is happening at critical point? At critical point your volume is becoming Vc. So if V is equal to Vc, I can write V minus Vc equal to 0. So taking cube of these both side, I will have V minus Vc whole cube equal to 0 cube or putting the formula cubic formula, I will have A cube minus B cube 3VC V square plus 3VC square V. Okay, this is a simple formula of A minus B whole cube. So this is the one another type of cubic equation that we get. So now we will only relate these two cubic equations and their coefficients. 
you have v cube here v cube here which has coefficient 1 we will not equate that we have v square and v square equating the coefficient of v square equating the coefficient of v and equating the constants so on equating the coefficient of v square it will be 3 vc equal to rtc by pc plus b so we will have this expression similarly similarly on equating v square i will have this and on equating the constants i will have vc cube equal to this so mainly now i have a relation between you know we can see that only on rearranging now we will have a relation relationship between a b r and t c p c and v c so on just simply uh, dividing equation number 9 with equation number 8 i will have this as my factor which says v c equal to on just solving it we will get v c equal to 3 b this is the main relationship between for critical volume and van der waals constant b similarly on putting this vc now in equation number 8 i will have pc so 3 into 3b whole square equal to a by pc so i will have pc as a by 27 b square and once you know tc and vc substitute in the first expression to get tc these are the most important relationships between critical constants and the van der waals constants critical constants pc tc and vc and van der waals constant the second important method is finding out the relationship from the andrews isotherm as we know from the Andrews isotherm, this is my critical point. A graph between any two factors, if I have pressure here, if I have volume here, so graph, uh, the slope of the graph is always dp by dv, okay? So any, any slope will be determined by this factor. And what is happening here, this is a break in the slope. So critical point is a point where you are having a break in the slope or it is a point at which the, the dp by dv is becoming 0 or the d2p by dv square is becoming 0. So the slope or the minima and maxima t2p by dv square is also 0. This is a critical point. So what we will do is we will write the van der Waals equation and then we will find out the first derivative uh, uh, you know first derivative with respect to volume and the second derivative of pressure with respect to volume and then equate these two to the zero. It is a point of inflection where dp by dv will be equal to zero. Also d2p by dv square will be equal to zero. So just writing down the expression in terms of pressure first. So it will be rt by v minus b minus of a by v square. Now I have with respect to pressure, I will differentiate it. On differentiating first derivative is this, second derivative is this. Now what we will do is we will just equate these two expressions equal to 0 because we know that at point of inflection the slope is 0 and the maxima and minima point is also 0. So you have also one important thing is we are only differentiating this with respect to volume keeping temperature constant because it is an isotherm. Temperature is always constant in an isotherm. So T is a constant, R is constant, A is constant, B is constant. You only have variable V which is uh, you are differentiating with respect to. Then on at critical point I have temperature as Tc, pressure Pc, this Vc equating these two at 0 and making P as PC, T as TC, V as VC, these two equations we get. We simply have to, these are the two expressions, okay. We simply have to rearrange these equations and by just dividing these two equations, 
we get the same expression as we found out from the earlier method. So, uh, we get that Tc is uh, Vc equal to 3b and on substituting Vc in the first derivative expression or in the second derivative expression, we will get the entirely 27rp. We get entirely same expression. So, Tc equal to 8a by 27rb and Tc equal to a divided by 27 b square simply on substituting. So, what is the major difference between the two methods? First method is using the cubic equation in terms of volume, we are solving the expression. Second is making the use of inflection point and solving the same expression. Once you know the critical constants value in terms of van der Waals constants, one can derive the relation between a, b and r in terms of this. That means you can find out van der Waal constants from critical constants also just by rearranging the equation. So, R is a constant as you know is a gas constant that is also fixed for all the gases and for all the gases if you just take PC, VC and TC ratio it is and 8 by 3 it comes out to be more or less same for all sorts of gases. In this part, we have derived the relationship between critical constants and van der Waals constants. We also see how the two can be related using various mathematical expressions and making use of Andrews isotherm, we can derive, we can find the point of inflection and the point of inflection is nothing but the critical constants. To know more about this topic, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing, the link of which is given in the description box. If you find this video interesting, please like, share and subscribe this channel. Also press the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. without the permission of the copyright holder.